everybody, welcome back. It's Brandon with Campbell Fitness. My apologies about sticking my armpit all up in your grill, so to say, but I wanted to show you something which is called stretch marks. Now, if you've been lifting for any time or if you've gone through any kind of dramatic weight gain or weight loss, you're probably really familiar with the term because more than likely chances are is that you have stretch marks. Now, first things first, let's talk about what stretch marks are. What they are is they're a form of scarring in your skin and the part of the skin that they scar are the dermis layer. Now as far as your skin goes, you have three different parts of your skin. You have the epidermis, which is the outermost part of the skin. You have the dermis, and then you have the hydrodermis, which is the undermost layer of the skin. So the stretching and scarring that occur happen in the middle or the dermis layer. Now as far as where they come from, stretch marks are usually seen because of rapid growths in the skin. Now this could be due to something we're familiar with with muscle building, but it can also be caused from things such as excess fat gain, pregnancy, or other hormonal changes in your body. Now the example I usually use for this is, think about if you ever had like your favorite t-shirt and you're out horsing around with some of your friends and someone pulls on it a little too hard or stretches it a little bit too far, it gets stretched out. Now the same thing can happen in your skin with its elasticity. If it tends to grow or move too fast, it loses the ability to kind of form back into itself, thus causing these stretch marks or scars. Now when this scarring first appears, it typically has a dark tint to it maybe a red or a purple, and over time they do fade and they lighten up significantly. Now I know a lot of you guys out there have stretch marks because I just recently posted a question on my Facebook page asking about this subject, and I kind of preempted it with, I'm going to do a video on this, and I asked who had them, and almost everyone that responded has had them. There's very few people who said, I don't have any. So this is something that a lot of people see, and the reason being is, when people tend to get into weights or training or anything like that or losing weight, they tend to go all in, which means they don't half-ass it. They put their full attention into it because they want to see results. And that's great for motivation purposes, but in those cases, what you're typically going to see is this rapid growth of new muscle and thus causing some stretch marks. Or in the past, if you put on weight really fast or if you were pregnant, which I know a lot of my viewers are male, but we do have female viewers out there too, this rapid growth that you see can lead to the scarring. So let's talk about what you can do if you have stretch marks. Well, unfortunately, there's no real outright cure for them. Now, there are treatments to make them less intense and go away. You'll see a lot of stuff out there that says, you know, if you get these topical ointments right when they first appear, it does help. However, I haven't really seen any studies to really prove these things. Now, you need to be really careful with this because these stretch marks are something that people look at as a cosmetic defect. That being the case, they're kind of more willing to accept anything they can if they think it's going to fix it. And people being smart, marketing and business people out there, they know this and they take full advantage. So they claim to have special ointments that are medical grades or proven formulas that work better than other things. And people plop down a lot of their money and time into these things that are more like snake oil, which means it doesn't really do anything. It promises the world, but it doesn't show you any real results. And again, they take and prey on people who are looking to fix these things. It's very similar to people that are going bald and trying to get hair gain back or if they have a cosmetic defect as far as plastic surgery options, or even weight loss, someone that's looking for the quick fix or the magic pill, they really harp on these people because they are willing to try anything, and with that, they're willing to pay almost any price. So I know a lot of people out there that have spent countless amounts of money trying to fix these things because they were promised the world, but in the end, they don't really deliver. So there are things out there as far as helping you alleviate some of these problems, although I wouldn't really be too sure you can find something that's going to totally eliminate them. Now there are new things coming out that should reduce these as far as laser surgeries and things of that nature, but when it comes down to it, your best bet is just to work on basic prevention. So what that means is look into lotions, vitamin E stuff, you know, if you know you're growing quickly. Another option would be try not to grow so fast. And I know that's not something that you guys want to hear, so it's not really a viable option for a lot of us because we are trying to build muscle and most of us want to build as much muscle as fast as possible. So again, the best ways around this is just making sure you have a good moisturizer, put that on your skin, you know, once or twice a day, could be after the shower, something as easy as that. I'm sure your girlfriends out there will appreciate it. Again, there are other options out there as far as that goes, but lotion is probably the easiest and cheapest way. It's also one of the most effective. 
Now there have been some treatments coming out with lasers, but again, you're getting into a very high cost model here and a lot of us don't want to spend this money on these type of treatments. The way I tend to look at stretch marks is, yes, you know what, they kind of suck, but at the same time, they show you that your passion, your dedication, and your hard work are paying off. And I kind of wear mine like medals. I haven't really seen any new stretch marks in the past 10 years. Again, most stretch marks are associated typically with new growth, very fast growth. Since I've been lifting for 15 plus years, I haven't really seen that much difference going forward. However, what I have noticed on the stretch marks that are pre-existing is, for the most part, they are pretty much faded. You can't see them as much as you could before, and it's one of those things that over time, they will start to fade and be less and less noticeable. So, wear them with pride, wear them with honor. It's your hard work that's really showing off there for you. Again, preventative maintenance is the best thing to do going forward. It's something to look into if stretch marks are something that you're afraid of. Other than that, you might want to cut down on your training, but again, who wants to do that when you're trying to stay big? As always, everybody, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.